body positioning, and that's me knowing where I implement my weight, knowing what he can and can't do. All right. And what I'm talking about is once I get here and I get driving, go ahead, bring that leg up here. Once I get this going, all right, I know I know I can't just muscle this. I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I've got to really turn this head, and I gotta pull this to me. Right? You just got weaker, correct? All right, he doesn't feel strong. Now the key, knee. I see a lot of guys, you're having a hard time because your body weight's over here and you're trying to get this. You're like, I can't move his body. Dangle over top. I'm over here, I'm almost falling off. But I know he can't do anything to me. All right, then my knee is gonna run to here. All right, I'm still gonna dangle over top. I just wanna hurt him right now, it's a show. All right, then I get my lock and I drop. Okay, this, this is critical here. This lock, all right, how I get to this other side, all I'm going to do is just jump to the side and slide. I don't want to get the lock as I'm jumping to the side, which I see some guys doing. Come back up. Here, what I see is guys doing this. It's over. You're resting somebody, head and chest comes up. I lost it. Okay? Stay on the side. There's no risk. I have no risk. If I don't get it, all right, if I don't get it, there's no risk. If I miss the lock, he fishes out. I'm still riding. I'm gonna get back underneath. All right, but I'm not gonna lose it if I'm doing it right. If he doesn't bring this leg up, it's fine. I'm just gonna rest. We're gonna break him down, and we're gonna go into turns. All right. So partner's gonna work with us. Bring that up. I get the lock. All right. Which some of you guys are doing a good job right here. Getting the lock here. I get the lock right now. Jump sides. Reason why we have a hard time turning this guy. We see guys get cradles all the time, they can't take a guy over. It's this foot, it's nothing else. The only thing stopping this guy from going over is this foot. He can do whatever he wants to do with everything else. To defend, this foot has to stay on the mat. All right, so to turn a guy, we're like, I can't get the leverage I want. We step up, this guy toe hooks me. All right, he does everything. I can't turn him, right? It happens all the time. I'm gonna focus on that foot then. I'm gonna take this foot off the mat, right here, okay? I'm gonna take this foot off the mat, here. All right, whether I sit it and I take my knee and I just bump it, right? And all I'm gonna do now is turn this knee up, right there. And now I'm sitting there. It's over. See that? One more time. Get this cradle locked. We did all this work, okay? Here. Right now, all I'm gonna do is take my elbow, I'll feed my knee underneath, right there. It's over. I gotta be careful. We're wrestling a guy that's really long, that's flexible, and I step up on him here. Even if, come on. if I step up, a lot of guys do this, and we go to take him over and he toe hooks me. Alright, we're in trouble, right? You get some of these guys who are really good, really flexible. They're not gonna go over without a fight. Alright? So I make sure I focus on this foot here. Right here. I can either use my elbow, if you're comfortable. The basic easy one is just to get my knee under there, and slide it up. I picked it up off the mat. All right. All I'm gonna do now is keep walking into him. Keep walking into him. Here. Take him over. Critical thing, and we've probably all been taught: squeeze the cradle as hard as you can, right? Like really squeeze this cradle. Uh-uh. Let me have it. Take him over. Here. All right. If I take him straight back. And I squeeze him right now. And I'm just squeezing tight here. It's not doing what I need. I want to pull his body apart. And what I'm talking about is I want this elbow to go long. I want this foot to go over his head. And I want to get long. Is that tighter? Yeah. So when I get long and he goes to kick, that foot drops, I'm going to pull it to me. Now I'm really putting his body out of position here. He can tell you this is going to start to hurt, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, again, the whole squeezing mentality, it's all technique behind it. I want to get this guy long. I want to extend him. All right? You notice on this, when he goes to his back, I'm not underneath. You know, a lot of times we get a cradle in my shoulder. You can't get, a, you can't get the fall. I disappeared out from underneath him here. Right here. The only thing that's going to touch the man is shoulders. A lot of times we get a cradle, and we take him over, and we're like this. And we can't get the pin. All right, I've done all the work ahead of time to not put myself in that position because it's step by step. All right, real basic little things. Any questions?
Let's go get this ready. One, two.